Um, welcome back to my podcast. I don't know what episode it is, but today is let me talk about it, Friday, September 24th, and I'm actually recording this at like 8 o'clock at night, so you guys won't see it until Saturday, and so I'm super sorry. I got home today, and I felt like complete crap, and I physically, like, couldn't make myself record earlier, but I'm all better now, I'm okay, um, and so, this will be out on Saturday instead of Friday, I'm so sorry, but we do have quite a bit to talk about, and so, let us jump right into it. So I have two finished objects. One of them, it's very similar to one you guys have already seen. Even none of the ends are woven in any of these. But like, it'll happen eventually. This is another brown tag. This one is for about an adult male, roughly. Um, yeah. It's just, this one, this is crochet. Um, this is, like, it's big on me, obviously, because I am a teenage girl. But, like, it can fit fine. Um, this is in my face, but, like, you know, she cute. Um, but, yeah. So, we got that. I'm going to make more of them, and then probably I want to do, like, one women's size, and then another, like, slightly smaller one for another man, and then, so I think I want to have, like, four before I list them on Etsy, but... I have no clue when I get around when I'll get around to it. Because all of my attention has been on my most recent whip because I just want to get it done and it is not getting done fast enough. <laughs> um but I will talk about that in a second. So my other finished object is as you guys probably can guess. Oops. Another sorry for the bad lighting right here. My lamp is right here and so you hear getting all that craziness but like oh well but it's the flax by tin can knits again um this one is knit with knit picks wool of the Am andes and i think it's like their cranberry color um the only i made some changes to the first one i did um i did the neckline ribbing first instead of picking up stitches later and I didn't mess up on the sleeves well no I did but I, I made a different mistake I dropped a stitch in one of the sleeves and didn't realize until like way later yeah right here And so, like, I didn't realize it until I had already finished the sleeve, and then I'm like, you know what, I'm not undoing it, so I'm just gonna do my best. But, yeah, I did not make that mistake with this sleeve on this panel, but, yeah. And the other, like, the main one, the main difference I made is I made this one longer, um, by, I want to say about four inches, three, four inches, something like that. Um, that's including the ribbing, but yeah, this I like this. It's it's a it's a very easy pattern to follow, um, and it looks very cute. I I know this giant hole is here again. Haven't woven in any of the ends. Actually, no, I have. I after I do the ribbing, I always weave in the ends. But like my cast on is woven in, and then when I attach the yarn for the sleeves and not open in. So I only, only have like three ends to even. I'm just lazy. But also sorry if you hear my bed creaking. I am recording this on my bed. And like this is like wood and so it creaks a lot when I'm moving. Um so again sorry it's not the best of episodes. I just I wanted to have the I want uh, I wanted you guys to have something for this week since I have had to make the switch every other week because I just am not getting enough progress done weekly to warrant a um what you about why am I a weekly I'm not getting enough progress done each week to warrant a weekly podcast yeah 
There's a lot of P's and W's in that sentence, but look at this book. Right there. And so on to on to whips. I only have one official whip, but I have about two unofficial whips. Um my official whip, and by unofficial, I mean I haven't started, but like I know what I'm gonna do, I know how I'm gonna do it. So technically, it's a future cast on. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just so my whip is another sweater. I know it doesn't look like a sweater, but that is because I separated for the body and sleeves. And then almost immediately started working on the sleeves just so I could get them done to try to prevent Sleeve Island. Because uh, nobody likes her. But, so I, I'm going to talk about the sleeve a little bit. You can tell I'm doing magic, magic loop right now. But, you see all of those little rainbow? There's a light purple one right here. Like, the little rainbow. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which I highly suggest you do because I update there a lot more often than here, obviously. It's mainly my story that I do updates on, but every once in a while I post. There are so many ends. But I, you will know that I came home from school early on Wednesday because my knee was not happy with me because I had to do some cartwheels for psychology on Tuesday and I was able to get I think it was like 13 inches of the 22 13 of the 22 inches for I'm just knitting I don't know why I'm knitting but a lot 13 of the 22 inches for the plain um stockinette of the sleeve and now I'm at <clears throat> This one, this marker, ah, can't get it. This marker right here marks 20 inches. And so I have two more inches to do and then the inch and a half of ribbing. And so I'm hoping to cast off this sleeve tonight. Again, since, it's, since it is only 8 o'clock, I'll probably go four or five more hours worth of work in. Um, obviously not straight, but like, I have about that much time to continue working. And I think, I think I can do it. I'm pretty, pretty optimistic, um, that I can finish this sleep today. My original goal was to finish it Sunday, um, but then because I came home from school early on Wednesday, I was able to get a, and I didn't, I had some homework, but it took me literally like 20 minutes because, um, it was for my anatomy and physiology class, and I'm very into that kind of stuff, and so I already sort of understood all of it and my anatomy and physiology class zoology and ap bio ap bio during that one time and still kind of right now all crossed over onto like cells and so i was learning everything three times which made it a whole lot easier um and so i was able to get it done pretty soon, pretty quickly and then get to knitting uh yeah so my plan after I finish this sleeve is to do the other sleeve and then the body. Um, that's because, again, I don't... I talked about it in my last podcast episode with the red one. But because I'm not 100% sure like how much yarn all of this takes, I kind of guesstimate, and I purposely guesstimate high. Um, I like to do, I figured out that I should do the sleeves first and just do them, not really think about it too much, use how much yarn, use however much yarn it needs, and then do, like, and um, pick up, pick back up the sleeves from the, the sleeves from the body, the stitches from the body, and then do an inch and a half of ribbing or however many rows. For me personally, I just do eight rows, which is about an inch and a half. But for this, I'm gonna do the exact numbers. Oh, I have to talk about that. And weigh the ball before and after, like weigh the ball of yarn before and after those eight inches. 
eight inches from after those eight rows or one and a half inches and then figure out how much yarn that took and then like leave that much yarn left for plus like one or two grams for the ribbing and the bind off um, again I also have all of the measurements of like how long he wants it to be and so you know if it, I need to make it a little bit shorter I can and then I can block it out to be that length but I think I think I bought 13 balls of this yarn which is about 650 grams so I hope I'll be able to like get it pretty good uh, I this is this ball I think this is my third one technically because like so again there's a ball in there that I used I only used a little bit of it just to get to past like where the body stitches are and then this already has one ball in it and that attached like somewhere around here ish I think um, and then I have this much left of the other ball so I think it'll take about two balls to do the sleeves and so 13 minus 4 would leave me like 9 for the body and I think like I think I can do the whole body with 9 balls of yarn I'm like pretty optimistic I can just because like that's a lot of yarn although the body does let me look at how long the body needs to be in my bunder I keep everything in here Ugh, it's great um, the underarm length is going to be 17 inches, and then the total length will be about 25. And so, hopefully I'll be able to make that work. Uh, but that's, I really hope I don't accidentally hit play in my, I'm watching Tiffany Liz's new, um, podcast episode. So I was kind of scared it would hit play, but it didn't. So, on to acquisitions I did break my rule and I bought some yarn but I promise I'm not gonna buy any more yarn knit picks was having a sale and I wanted to get yarn for a bellish sweater because I also got like a little $50 iPad to get the app on and I was so excited and I've heard so many good things about the yarn. I got Swish Worsted and I forget exactly what the color is. I'm trying to pull it up right now. But it's a it's a nice brown and I wanted to go for a more fun color, but then I was like, no. I'm gonna go for brown and we can do fun colors later. Um, but I don't I'm gonna go on a little mini rant. I don't like nitpicks new shipping thing like with the whole e-commerce whatever because usually it takes like a week no not even usually it takes like four days because they are based around Columbus and I'm in Cleveland and Columbus is usually the headquarters and so then they just kind of go around in Columbus a little bit and straight up to Cleveland and it's here in like four days And, um, but this time, that's not what's happening, and I don't like it. Um, it was called, the color was Pinecone Heather and the Swish Worsted. Like, this is, I'm gonna read to you the little, the little tracking updates I've gotten so far. I, it went to the distribution it was on its way to the distribution center the 22nd which i think they ordered it the 21st or 22nd one of the two i think i ordered the 21st i don't know but yeah i ordered the 21st so the next day was on the way to, dis to the distribution center pretty standard and then it showed up in melrose park illinois okay illinois stay there and then departed also yesterday and um this morning it was in Stowe Ohio and I'm not too sure what that is because I mean all if, if you've seen one part of Ohio you've seen them all so let's 
Let's look up directions to Stowe, Ohio. Let's see how far away that is. Watch it be like five minutes. Oh. It's 45 minutes away. And supposedly that's going to take until August. No, it's August. August already happened. Supposedly it's going to take till October 1st to get 45 minutes to my house. So I'm hoping it actually arrives on Monday or Tuesday. Maybe Wednesday at the latest. Um, but I just, I think it's kind of done. And then, like, when you go to track it on the Nitpicks website, it takes you to, like, the e-commerce page and not USPS. It's, it's not, it's not, a, it's not my favorite of things. But, yeah, so I have that for, well, I got that yarn for a bellish sweater. But then as I was reading over the pattern it generated... I did not like how it was going at all, and I didn't really feel comfortable with it. Um, and so I, I started off by just changing a few things, and I was like, "Not, you know I'm just gonna make my own pattern. <laughs> I, it's kind of based off of the Flax by Tin Can Knits, and kind of based off of the um, Bellish sweater. Like, I used some general tips and stuff. No tips. Like, I saw what the flax did and I was like, okay, so that's on average what's going on. And I kind of used that to make my pattern. Um, and I just, in the notes app of my iPad, I'm going to type it up this weekend. But I think that it's funny that I have a whole pattern in my notes. And, like, there's not a lot written, but, like, it all makes sense to me. Um, although, again, to be fair, a lot of it, like, one of them's repeat rounds two and three until set up is 40-68-40-68. And so, like, I wouldn't have, I didn't write out, like, you know, I didn't do, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, stuff like that. Until I got to that number, I just kind of said go until you get to that number, which isn't like I don't mind again because it's my pattern and like I understand what I'm meaning. And it's, I hope it works out. I don't really want to have to rip it all out. I think I think it's gonna work out, just because it's a very simple pattern. And the numbers are a little bit smaller than the flax ones, which I don't mind. Um, I have a lot of, like, stretch room with the flax, which, again, isn't bad. And so I know I can get away with it being a little bit smaller and still have it fit. Because the sizing with Bellish was very weird. Because it asks you, like, what size... You're making mainly based off of your bust measurement. And I'm a 35 inch bust. And they had 34 and 36 options only. Which isn't generally a bad thing. I usually would go for the 36. But the 36 inch bust had... Because it won 2 to 4 inch bust of positive ease. And I... That's a lot. <laughs> like, huh, that's just a lot. I'm going to really quickly make a make another pattern because I can't like undo it on the app but yeah two to four inches of positive ease and so if I go with a 36 inch bust um which is a size small I would have had 41 inches in the bust which is just way too much for me and someone's like okay well I'll just go down a size to 34 inches to the 34 inch bust and that had me at 38.5 inches and then I went down again to the 2x 2xs that had a 36.75 inch bust which I was okay with and just the pattern it didn't make sense to me 
I was like, there was, there's just so much, so much simpler way to do this. Like, why aren't we doing it the simple way? And so I just made a pattern. The simple way. I mean, I made it in like 10 minutes. Like, physically typing up because I already, I'd already tried to fix, I was, I'd already done most of the math because I was gonna just try to make a few little alterations to the pattern on Bellish. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do the whole thing. And nothing, it wasn't, like, too bad or anything. Um, I, there's gonna be a little bit less stitches on everything. My main thing was the, like, wrists, like, with both of my flax pullovers, I didn't like how loose the wrist was. And that's just based off of stitch count, I guess, purely stitch count. And so I just de plan to decrease more. I'm also picking up. There's going to be less stitches overall, and I'm going to decrease a little bit. I'm going to decrease to a lower amount. I think it's only like four stitches smaller, but I just didn't like the amount of room around my wrists that was going on. I still love the sweaters. I just, again, would have preferred if there was less room, like less air going up my arm through the wrist. Um, and so I did that. And I'm, again, I'm not trying to buy any more yarn, um, for a while. I'm definitely not going to buy any more yarn until this quarter ends for school. And, um, I just finished the fifth week, so. My grades, my grades are still good. I have all A's. Yay. <laughs> but I don't know how long it's going to last. Um, but I, I don't want to buy any more yarn until the end of the quarter because, um, controversial news I get paid for my grades um and if I get like higher than a 4.0 I get a certain amount of money yada yada and I want to wait until this sweater is done which I don't might honestly take until then and until the quarter is done just so buying a little bit of yarn isn't so much as of like a financial blow as it is now um and so I, I want to do that I know I said I wasn't gonna buy any yarn until this sweater was done, but to me, 20% off with yarn that I was already gonna have to buy anyways, I figured I might as well buy it cheaper sooner, and then also I'll be super motivated to finish this faster, because I only allow myself to have one sweater on the needles at a time, just because that's like, I would get so overwhelmed if I had more than one, and so I'm like trying to, I don't want to say rush to finish this, but I'm trying to like Every spare second I have, I want to work on this just so I can get it done, and so I can start a sweater for me. Cause I, I'm, I'm a pretty selfish knitter. Um, I do love gifting people knits, and like I do love making this for Dale, but I don't think I would ever make a custom sweater again, just because I get so many ideas that like of stuff I want to do. <laughs> and then if I'm working on the custom sweater, I, I kind of start to resent it because I'm like, oh my god, can I just finish this just so I can start getting working on stuff I want to work on. Um, so what I might end up doing is I might end up making, like, I have a really cute idea for, like, a little scrappy, like, color work, color work, color block sweater where, like, of three colors, the body is one color and both of the sleeves are other colors. I'm using some yarn I already have to try to get through my stash. And I think that would be super cute, and I would probably end up selling that one, just because it's not something I would wear. And if somebody else wants, if somebody else will wear it, <coughs> I want them to be able to. And like you know stuff like that. And I want to do another purple one. I have the yarn for it. I was gonna make a skirt out of the yarn, but I decided to repurpose it into a sweater. And so that's gonna happen, and I'm super excited. I'm very excited for this winter. There was one day where it was like 54 degrees and I wore my blue pullover, did I? my blue flax pullover, and I absolutely loved it. Um, but it's supposed to be like 70 again, which I'm not complaining about. I do love the heat. But like now that I have knits to wear, I can appreciate the cold. I'm not going to say I like it. I'm just saying I appreciate being able to wear the stuff I made. Um to school and stuff and I think that's really cool although I'm kind of excited for summer too because I, there's like some summer knits I want to do I talked about it a while ago the framework bralette I want to work on that for next summer and like I'll be going to college soon 
next year and so like stuff for random college events if I could just show up with stuff I made that'd be great and I feel like it'd be really cool and so I have about a year maybe a little less than a year to just knit absolutely everything I can um, obviously I'm still gonna try to knit during college, but I don't know how much time I'll have. Um, I, I, just, I don't know. So I want to do a lot of like knitting and crocheting now. So if I can't do as much during college, I'm not like completely distraught because I still have like a million things I want to work on. Even though ultimately that will happen because I spend most of my free time like in school or every once in a while I'll just go on Instagram and I'll find new yarn and new patterns and new everything that I want to try but like I want to try one of the one of um petite knits cardigans or just a cardigan in general because I always wear like jackets and stuff I feel like it'd be super cute if I had one I made but I don't like purly and so that's that's a bit of an issue my hatred for the pearl stitch so I kind of want to see if I could do like a chunkier cardigan, so then there's less stitches and less purling. But I don't know. I'm trying to just figure everything out. But yes, that is. I think that's about all for this week. I've been knitting for most of this episode, and I don't quite know why. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> but yes, I think that's all for this week. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and all of that jazz all of the links below well all of the links to the flax pullover bellish's website the yarn i used and the yarn i ordered will all be in the description as usual as well as my instagram and my etsy um i would recommend you follow me on instagram because i'm way more active on there um you guys are going to get more constant updates and who knows, every once in a while I might do a little hidden coupon or, you know, code for my Etsy shop. And if you guys want to be in on that, I would, again, highly recommend you jump on over to my Instagram. I will be posting about my red flax soon because I plan on taking pictures tomorrow. And that means I get that post bought up tomorrow. Um, and so yes, I will see you guys most likely tomorrow on my Instagram, most likely in my feed, but you'll see me way more often in my story posts. So that is all for this week and I will see you guys most likely not next week, but I think I'll see you guys in October next. Um, yeah, October. Ah, spooky season. <laughs> Why does it never...